In this video, we'll work through an example where we have to find the equation of a tangent line to a more complicated function. So whenever we're asked to find the equation of a tangent line, the thing we have to keep in mind is the form that we use for the equations of lines, which is the point-slope form, y minus y0 equals m x minus x0. So our task in this case is going to be to figure out the values of x0, y0, and m. Well, x0 is the easy one, because that's the value of x that they give us, which is 9 y0 is a little bit e uh, less easy, but not too bad, and because that's just f of 9. That's just the y value when x is 9, which is going to be the strange-looking number, natural log of 9 cubed. Don't, uh, if you're doing this as an online homework problem, don't use your calculator to figure out a decimal version of that number. Just leave it as the natural log of 9 quantity cubed. There's nothing we can really do to simplify that. So now for the m, that's going to be f prime of 9. That's the slope of my function at x equals 9. So now my task becomes to find a derivative of this f of x formula, and then plug 9 into that derivative, and that will be the slope of this line that I'm looking for. Okay, so how do we find the derivative of f of x equals the natural log of x quantity cubed? Well, the way that we want to think about that is as u cubed. So that natural log of x, that inside function, we want to kind of shrink that down and pretend that that's a single letter, which we're calling u. So the derivative of this function, the derivative of u cubed, is just like the derivative of x cubed. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, so the derivative of u cubed is 3u squared. So inside these parentheses here, I'm just going to write the original u. But the extended power rule, which is again just an example of the chain rule, tells me that I have to do a second step, which is to multiply by the derivative of u, which I'll call u prime. So inside the parentheses, I write the original u, which is the natural log of x, and then after I take that derivative of the outside function, I multiply by the derivative of the inside function, and the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. So that's the formula for my f prime, that's the formula for my derivative. So the slope of my tangent line, that's f prime of 9 which means everywhere I see an x in that derivative formula, I replace it with a 9. So that's 3 times natural log of 9 squared times 1 ninth. If I wanted to simplify that, that would be 1 third times the natural log of 9 squared. So now I'm going back over to my equation of my tangent line, y minus y0 equals m x minus x0. So now I substitute in. y0 I figured out was natural log of 9 cubed. My m is 1 third times the natural log of 9 squared, and my x0 is 9. This problem asks me to write my answer in y equals mx plus b format, so I've got a little bit of simplification to do. Let's work on the right-hand side. We've got 1 third natural log of 9 squared x minus, when I multiply 1 third by 9, I get 3, so that's 3 times the natural log of 9 squared. And then I'm going to add natural log of 9 cubed to both sides. So I get 1 third natural log of 9 squared x minus 3 natural log of 9 squared plus natural log of 9 cubed. So it's pretty strange looking, not the normal form that we're used to seeing, but that really is y equals mx plus b format, because there's my m, and then all this stuff is my b. So that's my final answer.